What's going on you guys? So I don't know if you guys have already seen any of my other videos on the DJI RIC2. If you're interested in you know learning more about it and the accessories, then stick around for this video right here. We're going to be talking about the DJI RIC2 or the, just DJI's focus wheel, which is an extra accessory that you can use with your DJI RIC2 to give you more control over your focus and your zoom. So if you have a zoom lens, one of those lenses that you know you can zoom in and out with, and you don't want to have to you know control it from the camera while using the gimbal, then you can just connect or you know create or set this up and just control it using the front dial or the knob right here so it's nothing crazy takes no time at all but I'll let you know right now before you even get into this that you're going to need this extra piece before we go ahead and begin I'm going to talk about all the different tools we're going to be using to get this set up but like I said originally you want to make sure that you have the focus motor so this comes with the DJI RSC2 or RS2 Pro combos not the original one so if you get it without the pro you don't get that piece but you can get it as a separate piece let's get right to it guys okay so right here I've got all the tools I'm going to be using for this so everything you can see on the table right now will be provided if you did get the DJI RSC2 Pro combo which is what I have right here I've got um, a gear strip so this is what we're going to use to connect uh, we're going to wrap this around our lens so this is what's going to control the zoom or the focus right here we've got our multi-camera USB-C to USB-C cable so this is how we will connect the focus motor to the gimbal next up here I've got the focus motor itself so this is the extra extra piece that I said comes with the DJI RIC2 Pro combo this is what you're going to use this is what connects the entire setup together this is what you know you use to control the focus and the zoom right here is the only point or only port of input so this input right here is just a USB-C port so this is what you will connect directly to the gimbal or the gimbal arm this is what you will connect to the gear strip to control the rotation of the lens which is basically the zoom and you know the focus and right here is just the attachment point. So this is where we're, we're going to talk more about this. We're going to attach the 12 millimeter rod mount on here. Right here, I've got two camera risers. So this one right here is what you would use if you want to attach the focus motor along the side of the camera riser. And, or you could use it with this one. So this one you'd have to use in tandem with the low quick release plates, which I'll get to next. Right here is just a low quick release plate. So like I said before, you'd want to use this piece, the one without the screw holes along the side. You'd want to use it with this piece and then attach the rod mount along the side here. So this is where you'd want to attach the rod mount if you're using, you know, the low quick release plate. You'll also need three or four of these screws. Okay, next up here, I've got the 12 millimeter rod. So you're going to use this one with the rod mount which I'm gonna show you guys right now. This right here is the rod mount. So this, these two work together to hold up the focus motor and connect it to your DJI RSC2 gimbal or DJI RS2 gimbal. So it goes in here and you use a screw right there. And well, we're gonna see the rest as we keep going, but let's get right to it because there's not much left. Actually, one more piece right here, which you're going to need. It also comes with the package, like I said. This one right here is just the hex wrench. Finally, I've got my Canon EOS M50 here with my 16 millimeter Sigma wide angle lens so it's a heavy lens so we're going to test out how this camera works in tandem with the focus motor as well as the DJI RSC2 gimbal so let's get right to it let's do the setup and then we go ahead and test it out okay to begin what we're gonna do is we're going to attach the rod the 12 millimeter rod to the rod mount so we're gonna slide that in here it's all it is you slide it in there and then you use a screw I like to kind of put it three quarters of the way you know in there so I, I you can always adjust it depending on what you're uh, depend on you know what you need it for because we're gonna you're gonna see as we go that you might need to adjust it you know so it doesn't obstruct one of you know the locking handles or locking mechanisms on the gimbal or locking arms so I'm gonna tighten this with the hex wrench okay so as you can see right there it's tightened next up we're going to attach this entire setup right here to the camera riser or the low quick release plate so like I said there's two ways to do it you can either use the low quick release plates or the camera riser so if you wanted to use the camera riser what you'd have to do is just attach it along the side here so you see those little screw holes there you just want them to align with the two screw holes on this side there's two screw holes here or there's multiple screw holes to be honest but you want the the middle two or the the, the two that are before the you know the furthest one and then you kind of align them right here and then you use these screws to attach them okay so as you can see right here uh, I've got the camera riser attached to the rod mount system which is all you need to do for this or you can like I said attach this directly to the other one so I'm probably I'm probably gonna use the other one but uh, I just want to show you guys how this one works so all you have to do at this point is attach this to your camera which is my Canon M50 in this case I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly here so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure this this rod is along uh, the same length of your um, 
lens and you want to make sure that it's on the left side. So you can always have it on the right side as well, but it's advisable based on, uh, according to DJI, it's advisable to have it on the left side. I don't know exactly why, but like I said, it's advisable by DJI to do that. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna uh, slide this onto the gimbal and we can go ahead from there, but I'm not gonna do that with this camera riser. I wanna, I wanna show you guys the other way to do it first. So I'm going to take this piece off and attach the rod mount to the low quick release plate. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see these little um, uh, ports right here, these M4 ports, one, two, three. That's what you're going to use to attach the rod mount, which is this entire setup, to this piece right here, the low uh, quick release plate. So you just wanna just attach it along the top right here. Just, just right here is good. You should be good to go from there. So we're gonna do that quickly. As you can see right there, so that's basically it. Like I said, you might have to adjust this rod. So I think I found out where that fourth screw was supposed to go. And I think it's right here, because when you use the camera riser, you only have two different ports. But when you use the low quick release plate, you have three ports. So three screws go in here and one goes in here. One thing I want you to remember is to make sure that the uh, rod is on the left side. So the left side of your quick release plate is where you want the rod to be mounted upon. So once you have it here, you try to make sure that it's, you know, there's enough space because you don't want it obstructing this little lock uh, lever back here. So once we have it like this, next thing we wanna do is take this little uh, camera riser off here. So this, this second camera riser, the one without the screw holes, and we attach it to the camera. So we basically just attach it to the camera right there. Now that we have it on there, you want to make sure that this lever is unlocked, not locked, so it has to be unlocked in the unlocked position. And then you just slide it on there. So make sure the, the lens is also pointing in the same direction as that little arrow. So the arrow has to be pointing in the same direction as the lens. They have to be in the same direction. So that's how you slide it on there. Push on the button and just slide it. Make sure that lever gets locked or you're going to damage your camera if it's not locked. So try to do that. Next up, we're going to talk about this gear strip. We're going to attach this gear strip to our lens. So basically gonna wrap it around our lens. So it, you know, it's what's gonna control the lens and make it move. So you can control the focus and the zoom. You know what, you wanna make sure you're not wrapping along the jagged uh, section or the teeth. You want to wrap along or around with this uh, side. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna wrap this around. So there we go. So as you can see right there, it's simple. You don't, you don't want it too tight, but you also don't want it too loose so you can, it can actually rotate your lens when you attach it to the gear strip or to the focus motor. So as you can see right there, it just rotates. That's, uh, that's how it works. So what I'm gonna do now is attach the final piece, the focus motor. This one you'd want to attach along the back end of the rod right here and attach this little gear part to the gear strip. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So slide this on here. Align it with the gear right there. Just align it right there. Once it clicks in, or it shouldn't really click in, but once it once it looks like it's you know like a gear system, you, the way a gear system would work is how this would work. So you want it to be able to rotate it. As you can see, I'm twisting the little uh, knob and it's rotating the lens. That's all you want right there, basically. So once you have that working, you know you're good. So you then want to go ahead and tighten one more little knob at the bottom there. Just tighten that knob so it's where you want it to be at. We gotta mount this camera with this entire you know setup on our gimbal, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So the next thing we wanna do is attach the multi-camera cable, which is just a USB-C to USB-C cable from this piece directly to this arm. So there's two ports on the gimbal arm for connecting the focus motor to the gimbal. So the first one, which is the same port you would connect your uh, Raven Eye system to, to transmit 1080p video. If you don't know how to use a Raven Eye system and you, and you have it, make sure to check out the video at the top of the screen. All the settings, everything you need to know about the Raven Eye system. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. And while you're at it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel. Do not forget to turn on notifications. So there's also a second port which you can use to charge your Raven Eye you know, image transmission system, but you can't transmit image using that one. You can also use that one as a follow or as a, a port for you know this entire setup. So you can connect this cable to both of those ports. But if you're using the DJI Raven Eye system alongside this, then you're only gonna have access to one of those ports. So I'm gonna connect this cable to the second port, which is the one I'm going to be using in this video right here. So let's get right to it. Basic, simple connection, nothing crazy, just one plug and then you're good to go. Okay, so that's what you have to do to set up the focus motor system, which honestly, 
it's only useful if you're going to be using that function. Some people don't care about it, some people don't use it, but if you're going to be using it, then you're going to love the function. So I'm gonna test it out right now. The next thing you wanna do with this entire setup before you turn it on and you know use the focus motor is to balance the gimbal. That's very important. So if you don't know how to balance your gimbal, you can go ahead and check out the video at the top of the screen as well. That video, I explain how to balance your camera vertically and horizontally. So depending on what you're shooting for, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is, doesn't matter. But go ahead, check that video and come back here once you have your uh, gimbal balanced or just balance it if you know, already know how to balance it and let's keep going. Okay, so right now, as you can see, I've got my camera in manual focus mode. So you cannot have it in autofocus while using the focus wheel. And if you want to control zoom, you're going to need a zoom lens. So I don't have a zoom lens attached to my camera right now. I have a prime lens. If you don't know how to switch from autofocus to manual focus on your camera, make sure to go check the manual or look online. There should be a, lots of stuff online for you know helping you out with that. For the Canon EOS M50, all you have to do is push the MF button at the, uh, you know, right here. Just push that, it'll switch between AF and uh, manual focus. You can also do it in the menus. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place something in front of the couch so, you, so I can control the focus between that item and the couch. That way we can see a good test. But I'm gonna show you guys two ways to control the focus. You can control the focus using the focus wheel on this right here by just twisting it so it, it moves the little, it rotates the little, uh, the lens. You can also control the focus and the zoom using the front dial. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with the front dial and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with the focus wheel. But before that, I'm gonna place something in front. That way I have something to focus on. Okay, as you can see right now, I've got this Beats by Dre or Apple by Dre. I don't know what you're gonna call it. It doesn't matter. Point is I've got this right in front of my camera, so there's no focus on it. As you can see, it's blurry. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the front dial. So I'm gonna calibrate, so I'm gonna set up the front dial. So the front dial controls the focus wheel or the focus motor. So to do that, you wanna push along the front, the side dial on your gimbal, and then you just you know slide through until you find the front dial. Select that and then choose the function. Select focus motor, so you want it to control the focus motor right there. And now all you have to do is just move or toggle the uh, front dial and it's going to try to you know focus on this thing right here. And if you have a zoom lens, it'll zoom in and out directly from the gimbal. So right here, as you can see, as you can see right there, this is now in focus. And if you just keep going, it shifts. Now the focus is on the couch behind there. And right there again, it's back to my hand. So that's doing it with the front dial. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with you know the focus wheel on the focus motor itself. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this uh, side dial is set to something else. So ISO or aperture, just make sure it's not focus motor or even focus. So set it to ISO, I guess. We're gonna set it to ISO. And now we're gonna control this, the focus motor using the focus wheel right on you know the focus motor itself. So right there. As you can see, it switches to the back there. And right there, the focus is right back on the Beats uh, hard shell case. So that's basically it right there. As you can see, that's how it works. Nothing crazy. So I hope you guys have learned something from this one. Something you can take away. Something you can have add to your filming kit, your filming, you know, uh, repertoire, whatever it is, man. That's all I've got for you. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. You can say hello, or you can ask a question, or you can give me a video suggestion or a way to improve my videos. I'd appreciate it. If you want to see some more videos like this one, you know what you gotta do, man. You gotta click on the video or one of the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out, y'all. <laughs>